हरिओ हरिओ थैंक यू नमस्ते टू ऑल प्रॉस्ट्रेटिंग एट द लोटस फीट ऑफ ब्रह्मनिष्ठ सद्गुरु स्वामी विराजेश्वर सरस्वती एंड द एंटायर गुरु परंपरा ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ ऑल ऑफ अस टुडे डिस्कोर्स ऑन विवेक चूडामणि विल कंटिन्यू ओम श्री गणेशाय नम ओम श्री महासरस्वत नम सदाशिव सरंभां श्रीशंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृति पुराणल करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्र भाष्यकृत वंदे भगवंत सर्वेदात सिद्धांत गोचर तम गोचर गोविंद परमानंद सद्गुरु प्रणतस्म ओं नम भगवते विराजेशराय हरि ओं बिफोर वी स्टार्ट टूडे डिस्कोर्स वन स्मॉल अनाउंसमेंट ऑन फ्रॉम अवर साइड नेक्स्ट संडे that is 29th of august and the coming sunday after that that is on september 5th so two consecutive sundays the live discourse of vivek chudamani may not be possible from our side due to the shifting of or relocation of our uh, house so in all probability next two consecutive sundays the discourse may not be there so you have to bear with us for the small interval last time we had stopped at shloka number 268 verse number 268 so today 269 onwards the discourse will continue please remember the highest truth is being expounded the ultimate advaitic truth is being expounded in all these shlokas and uh, repeatedly acharya bhagavat pada in a different simple sanskritam words he tries to repeat so that we ajnanis will understand to some extent what he is trying to convey to us acharyaru pade pade bere bere sundaravada pada samuchchayagalinda koodida shlokagala mulaka tamma prasanna gambhira shailiyinda sanskrita bhashayalli aa ondu vicharavanna matte matte helta iddare tatvamasi neenu adhe agiddi appa anno maha vakyavanna ittukondu नहीं स्वयं प्रत्येगात्म स्वरूप आगदीय देहकू बुद्धिगू मनस्सीगू इतर अंतकरण वृत्ति मीरद सत्स्वरूप चित्स्वरूप आनंद स्वरूप नहीं आगदीय जीव जगत ईश्वर अवर विधद सृष्टि क्रम ಎಲ್ಲಕ್ಕೂ ಅಡಿಪಾಯವಾಗಿ ಅಧಿಷ್ಠಾನವಾಗಿ ನೀನೇ ನಿಂತಿದ್ದೀಯ ನಿನ್ನಿಂದಲೇ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ನಿನ್ನಿಂದಲೇ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ನಿನ್ನಿಂದಲೇ ವಿರೋಧಾನ ಅನ್ನೋ ಮಾತನ್ನ ಮತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಸೊ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಸೆಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿ ಬಟ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲಿ ಜ್ಞಾತ್ವ ಸ್ವಂ ಪ್ರತ್ಯೇಕಾತ್ಮಾನ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಟ್ರೂ ನೇಚರ್ ಜ್ಞಾತ್ವ ಸ್ವಪ್ರತ್ಯಗಾತ್ಮಾನೋಹಂವ ಸದೃತ್ಯ ಅನಾತ್ಮನಿ ಆತ್ಮಮತಿ ಜಹಿ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ರಿಯಲೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಟ್ರೂ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಅಬಾಯ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಇನ್ ದಾಟ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಪ್ಯೂರಿಟಿ ವಿಶುದ್ಧ ಸತ್ವ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ಮನಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಪ್ರಶಾಂತ ಮನಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಅಬಾಯ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸೋ ಹಂ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದಟ್ ಓನ್ 
I am neither the body nor the indriyas nor the antakaranas like buddhi, manas, ahankara, chit. All that, the ahankara, ego, is a primordial culprit here which is itself a mithya and that ahankara, myself, me, concept, I, concept, automatically gives rise to mine concept, mamakara. So, ahankara, there is individual perception. I am, I am this body. Along with that, mamakara, these people are not pleased. Always, this is a central dogma of Advaitic philosophy. The moment ahankara is there, right from the birth till the death, mamakara goes with that. Just like the shadow goes along with the object. When the light falls on the object, shadow is created. But the shadow is not independent. It is a debate dependent on the object. So wherever the object moves, the shadow also will move when the light falls on the object. Like that. That the ahankara is there, me, mine, me, me, myself, 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 nano, 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 nano bhava. Along with that, mamakara is always there. You cannot separate. Vedanta is very clear, Acharya is very clear, all Mahatmas are very clear. You cannot separate ahankara from mamakara. If you kill the ahankara, if you annihilate the ahankara, then automatically mamakara will go. Only, only few are mine. Only select entities are mine. That will go away. Then you develop automatically the sarvatma bhava. That is to be experienced. That cannot be experienced. When everything is yourself, what earlier, foolishly you thought, only your people are yourself, they are also included in the everything. Sarvatma bhava. You become the substrate. You are that Brahmapadartha. You are that consciousness, supreme consciousness. In the canvas of the entire consciousness, this world has appeared like a dream. Objects have appeared like a dream. Entities have appeared like a dream with a different name, shape, form and size. Nama, Rupa, Guna, Kriya, Vikriya, Bheda. Nyatva sam pratyagatmanam stoham mitteva sadvrutya anatmani atma matim jahi. All this is anatma. Remove your feeling that you are this body, you are this thing, you are that thing. These people are yours. That is a different object. This is a different. See, the world is different. I am different. All this, everything is a jada, anatma. So, with that, next. Now he comes to the Famous Vasana Kshaya Prakarana, as it is called. Uh, before that, actual shloka, one or two small things. Introduction. Vasane Mattu Samskara, Yerudu Samskuta Shabdagur. Hichu Kademe Yerudu Vandi Artha the Liprio, Sandar Bhakti, Anasaravagi, Sol Solpa Vityasa Yitru. Saman Nyavagi Vasane Mattu Samskara, Yerudu Vandi Artha on the Kurta Kanta Padagur. ಈ ಜನ್ಮದಲ್ಲಿ ನಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲದೆ ಹುಟ್ಟಿನಿಂದ ಸಾಯೋ ತನಕ ನಾವು ತೋರಿಸುವ ನಡವಳಿಕೆಗಳು ನಮ್ಮ ವರ್ತನೆಗಳು ನಮ್ಮ ಮಾತುಗಳು ನಮ್ಮ ಇಚ್ಛೆ ಅನಿಚ್ಛೆಗಳು ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾರ್ಯಪ್ರವೃತ್ತಿ ನಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲದೆ ಆ ವಾಸನೆಯನ್ನು ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬಿಸುತ್ತವೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರವನ್ನು ತೋರಿಸಿಕೊಡುತ್ತದೆ ಇತರರಿಗೆ ಇತರರ ದೃಷ್ಟಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರ ಏನು ಅಂತ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನಮಗೆ ಅದು ಗೊತ್ತೇ ಇರೋದು ಜನ್ಮ ಜನ್ಮಾಂತರಗಳಿಂದ ಬಂದಿರತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಆ ವಾಸನೆಗಳು ಈ ಜನ್ಮದಲ್ಲೂ ಮುಂದೆ ಮುಂದೆ ಪ್ರವೃತ್ತಿಯಾಗಿ ಅದು ಮತ್ತೆ ಮುಂದಿನ ಮುಂದಿನ ಜನ್ಮಕ್ಕೂ ಹೋಗುವಂತ ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರ ಅಥವಾ ವಾಸ ಸೊ ದ ಟೂ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವಾಸನ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರ ಇನ್ ಜನ್ರಲ್ ಇನ್ ಜನ್ರಲ್ ದೇ ಮೀನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಫೈನೆಸ್ಟ್ specific difference between the two words. I will not go into the details of that. Overall, overall, vasana, samskara, both are, they mean the same. They are the impressions 
they are the inborn instincts your behavior your behavior pattern your way of talking your way of dealing with the things with the prapancha your mindset everything reflects your samskaras vasanas carried from previous births previous births so the vasanas are so strong from hundreds of births they are there even now they are there in our body your body my body very difficult to get rid of unless with the concentrated shuddha sattva buddhi by grace of the guru you can you can cut down the vasanas to some extent but not completely not completely that is a one major problem with that so in vedanta in vedanta now there is a concept here used called eshana eshana traya traya means a triad group of three traya antandre muru ಮೂರರ ಗುಂಪಿಗೆ ತ್ರಯ ಅಂತ ಏಷಣ ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದು ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಶಬ್ದ ಏಷಣಾತ್ರಯ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಏಷಣಾತ್ರಯ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ವೇದಾಂತಿಕ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಜೀವ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೈ ಬರ್ತ್ ಟಿಲ್ ಡೆತ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೌಂಡ್ ಬೈ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸ್ನೇರ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಏಷಣಸ್ Eshanas means the mental strong attachments, very specific strong attachments specific to each individual. Eshan. What are these three strong attachments? One is called in Vedanta, Vittayishane or Vittayishana. Another one is called Lokayishana or Lokayishane. the third one is called putraishana or putraishana so there are three eshanas one is lokaishana second vittaishana then putraishana what is that now one by one there is no any order of seniority here all the three are important you take for example vittaishana vitta vitta in sanskrit means wealth aishwarya vitta andre aishwarya vittaishana means you are innate by birth to till death your attachment your attraction your longing your urge your basic instinctive urge to have more and more wealth the wealth is in the form of money liquid money or in the form of assets or in the form of gold or in the form of land in the form of stocks ventures mutual funds fixed deposits jewelry diamonds anything it can so vitta refers to wealth everyone who are rich attracted to it he has that eshana vitta eshana to make to urge is there to make more money aishwarya sampada so mano pravrutti ki vitta eshana beku eshtu idru beku next one is putra eshana putra means santati progeny your children putra also here means putri it understood so putra means your progeny you are children everyone is interested to have children hardly you find a minuscule percentage who who don't want to have child of their own but in general in the entire world what is that the vedanta says everyone wants to have children for their own sake for their selfish sake so that they will grow they become older and when they become old enough they will look after their parents they will be a sort of a helping hand to the parents not only that their race will continue 
their family lineage will continue when they have children and the children again get married and they have their own children so the family lineage will continue and the children will perform the funeral rites and other anniversary radha apar karma swat parents who depart so these are the points so everyone wants to have children putraishan third one is lokaishan what is lokaishan to get name and fame in the world in sim lokaishane antandre jagatinalli prapanchadalli jananuragiyagi adhikaravagli mannaniyagli gavarava keerthi antasthana galisbeku gavaravana galisbeku janarinda prashamsayanna padibeku ಲೋಕೈಶನ್ ಜನರು ತನ್ನನ್ನು ಹೊಗಳ್ತಾ ಇರ್ಬೇಕು ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ಬೇಕು ಲೋಕೈಶನ್ ಪುತ್ರೈಷಣೆ ಸಂತಾನ ಬೇಕು ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಏಷಣ ಸರ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಏಷಣ ಟ್ರೈಬ್ಸ್ ನೋ ಬಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನ್ ಹೌ ವೇದಾಂತ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಅಟ್ ಹೌ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ನಾ in your previous birth just think for a second just concentrate on what is being said now in the previous birth the human birth presumably always remember in the previous birth also you you had a family you had your parents you had your children and you strived hard to make more and more money you wanted to have a name and fame you wanted to have more money your own family property house whatever it is jewels gold that was there tendency was there previous to that previous birth same thing was there so in all the previous births if you go on thinking the same tendency was there so in this birth also same tendency is continuing this is samskar vasana strong feeling these eshanas are they are the binding factors they have bound you to samsara so that repeatedly you die and again you are born you die and again you are born ee eshana trayagal idiyalla putraishane lokaishane vittaishane ivugalind yen aagta ide andre manushyananna jeevavanna jeeviyanna samsarakke kattaagta ide mai ಸಂಸಾರಕ್ಕೆ ಕಟ್ ಹಾಕ್ತಾ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಮತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸಾಯೋದು ಮತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಹುಟ್ಟೋದು ಆಗ್ತಾನೇ ಇದೆ ಪುನರಪಿ ಜನರಂ ಪುನರಪಿ ಮರಣಂ ಜಠರೇ ಜನನಿ ಪುನರಪಿ ಶಯನಂ ಆಚಾರ್ಯರು ಮೋಹ ಮುದ್ರದಲ್ಲಿ ಇದನ್ನೇ ಬಹಳ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಸುಂದರವಾಗಿ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದ್ರು ಮತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಹುಟ್ಟೋದು ಅದೇ ಸಂಸಾರ ಏಷಣಾತ್ರಯಗಳಿಂದ ಯಾರು ತಪ್ಪಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗಿಲ್ಲ ಇದನ್ನ ಈಗ ಆಚಾರ್ಯರು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಲೋಕಾನುವರ್ತನ ತ್ಯಕ್ತ ತ್ಯಕ್ತ ದೇಹಾನುವರ್ತನ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಾನುವರ್ತನ ತ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸ್ವಾಧ್ಯಾಪನಯ ಕುರು ಲೋಕಾನುವರ್ತನ ತ್ಯಕ್ತ ತ್ಯಕ್ತ ದೇಹಾನುವರ್ತನ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಾನುವರ್ತನ ತ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸ್ವಾಧ್ಯಾಪನಯ ಕುರು ತ್ಯಕ್ತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಬಿಡು ಬಿಠಾಕು ತೆಗೆದಾಕು ಬಹಳ ಸ್ಪಷ್ಟವಾದ ಆದೇಶ ಆಚಾರ್ಯರಿಂದ ಶಿಷ್ಯನಿಗೆ ಮುಮುಕ್ಷುವಿಗೆ ಸಾಧಕನಿಗೆ ಏನು ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಬಿಡು ತೆಗೆದಾಕು ಮನಸ್ಸಿನಿಂದ ಯಾವ ಕಾರಣಕ್ಕೂ ಒಳಗಿಟ್ಕೋಬೇಡ ತೆಕ್ತ ಬಿಡು ಏನ್ ಬಿಡಬೇಕು ಲೋಕಾನುವರ್ತನ ದೇಹಾನುವರ್ತನ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಾನುವರ್ತನ ಲೋಕ ಲೋಕವನ್ನ ಅನುವರ್ತನೆ ಮಾಡೋದನ್ನ ಅನುಸರಿಸೋದನ್ನ ದೇಹಾನುವರ್ತನ ದೇಹವನ್ನ ಅನುಸರಿಸೋದನ್ನ ನಿನ್ನ ಶರೀರವನ್ನ ಅನುಸರಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗೋದನ್ನ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಾನುವರ್ತನ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಗಳನ್ನ ಅನುಸರಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಗ್ರಂಥಗಳು ಅವುಗಳನ್ನ ಅನುಸರಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗೋದು ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಬಿಡು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಸ್ವ ಅಧ್ಯಾಸ ಅಪನಯಂ ಕುರು 
ಯಾಕೆ ಬಿಡಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇದು ಬಿಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನಿನ್ನ ತಪ್ಪು ತಿಳುವಳಿಕೆ ಅಧ್ಯಾಸ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ನಾನು ದೇಹ ನಾನು ಶರೀರ ನಾನು ಇಂಥವನು ನಾನು ಇಂಥವಳು ಅದು ಹೋಗತ್ತೆ ಆದ್ರಿಂದ ಈ ಅಧ್ಯಾಸವನ್ನ ತಿರಸ್ಕಾರ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಇವು ಮೂರು ಬಿಡ್ಬೇಕಪ್ಪ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಸೊ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ತ್ಯಕ್ವ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಗಿವ್ ಅಪ್ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ಆದೇಶ ಕಮಾಂಡ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇದನ್ ಸೇ ಟು ದ ಲರ್ನೆಡ್ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ಉತ್ತಮ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ಉತ್ತಮ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸು ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಸೇ ಗಿವ್ ಅಪ್ ಲೋಕಾನುವರ್ತನಂ ಗಿವ್ ಅಪ್ ದೇಹಾನುವರ್ತನ ಗಿವ್ ಅಪ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಾನುವರ್ತನ ಸ್ವಾಧ್ಯಾಸ ಅಪನಯಂ ಕುರು ಸ್ವಾಧ್ಯಾಸ ಅಪನಯಂ ಕುರು ಹಿ ಎಂಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಅಪನಯಂ ಕುರು ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಟೋಟಲಿ ಟೋಟಲಿ ಯು ಯು ರಿಮೂವ್ ದಟ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಸೂಪರ್ ಇಂಪೋಸ್ಡ್ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಸ್ವ ಅಧ್ಯಾಸ ಅಧ್ಯಾಸ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ನೋಷನ್ ವಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ನೋಷನ್ ಅಧ್ಯಾಸ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಧ್ಯಾಸ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ you are confusing yourself to be the body superimposition false identification is adhyas always please remember so acharya says lokanuvartanam eva what is that following the world following the world means what always people tend to everyone rich or poor you know he thinks that is always correct and then he also says people should not blame me i should live in such a way that everybody should praise me i should go according to the customs and rituals of my neighbors my people my surrounding people my village people my countryside people my people of the city where i live so i should follow the customs i should follow what everybody others do normally i should do in the same way in everything i should follow the natural customs and rituals and sampradaya that is lokanuvartana why because people should not mistake people should not point out that i am something different people should not make fun of me janagalu nanna nindane maadbardu hindugadinde vengivagi nanna aadkolabardu ಅಥವಾ ನನ್ನ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ತಪ್ಪು ತಿಳುವಳಿಕೆ ಬರಬಾರದು ಈ ದೃಷ್ಟಿಯಿಂದ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಜನಗಳಿಗೆ ಅನುಕೂಲವಾಗಿರೋ ಹಾಗೆ ತನ್ನ ವರ್ತನೆ ಸಮಾಜಕ್ಕೆ ಅನುಕೂಲವಾಗಿ ತನ್ನ ವರ್ತನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತಾನಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಲೋಕಾನುವರ್ತನೆ ಸೊ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ಟು ದಿ ಫುಲ್ಲೆಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ವೆದರ್ ಯು ಬಿಲೀವ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಯು ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿ ಬ್ಲೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ಫಾಲೋ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಕಸ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ why you are living in the society you always think that people may talk ill of you if you talk truth only <coughs> you always feel that if i live in a simple way knowingly that i am not the body if i tell others that look i am not the body i am atma swarupa people will laugh at you so you are afraid that means your ego is still there where is the question of you becoming atma swarupa see you feel hurt when people when they, they talk ill of you in front of you or behind you the moment you think you are hurt your ego is hurt the ego is very strong so nobody is devoid of this ego nobody is devoid of this people live in the society in the world not outside the world but as a part of the world they go along with the world what others do they also do the same except please remember a jnani knowingly well he lives in the world of maya but he always detaches completely himself from the maya or the world itself all other ajnanis who are not brahmavits who are not realized follow the world that is lokanuvartha so that is because of your ego because of individuality so as long as it is there how can you claim yourself to be atma swarup how can you say soham this is what acharya is hinting and then telling 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 his disciple lokanuvartanam tyaktva dehanuvartanam tyaktva then 
ಶರೀರವನ್ನು ಅನುಸರಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗೋದು ಈ ಶರೀರ ನಾನು ಅನ್ನೋ ಭಾವನೆ ಬಲವಾಗಿದ್ದಾಗ ಈ ಶರೀರಕ್ಕೆ ಏನು ಬೇಕು ಏನು ಬೇಡ ಎಲ್ಲವನ್ನು ನಾವು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತೇವೆ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಶೃಂಗಾರ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಶರೀರವನ್ನು ಪೋಷಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ಬೆಳೆಸ್ತೇವೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ವಿಷಯದಲ್ಲೂ ಶರೀರಕ್ಕೆ ಬಹಳ ಪ್ರಾಮುಖ್ಯತೆ ಇದು ನನ್ನ ಶರೀರ ಇದು ನಾನು ಶರೀರ ನಾನು ನಾನು ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ಸ್ವಂತ ಸ್ವಾಭಿಮಾನ ಸ್ವಂತ ಶರೀರದ ಮೇಲೆ ಎಂಥ ಅಭಿಮಾನ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಎಲ್ಲದಕ್ಕೂ ನಾನು ಸೊ ದೇಹಾನುವರ್ತನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಟ್ ಟ್ಯಾಂಪರಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಟ್ಯಾಂಪರಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ನೈಸ್ ವೇ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಜೆಂಟ್ಲಮನ್ಲಿ ವೇ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಲೋ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಆರ್ ಎ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ವಿತ್ ತಾಮಸ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಆರ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ who is below the level people may laugh at you so when you go to a big function you always wear a formal dress american the western philosophy a western culture formal dress not a casual dress you don't wear jeans or bermudas to a big meeting in your company when you're attending a meeting in a big company in a multinational company or in any other big organization or if you are a top most executive will you go in a bermuda or without a tie without a suit look at their politicians big politicians big people in all the meetings how do, how do they behave they follow the basic etiquette that is exactly pampering the body dehano vartanam you neatly comb your hair pamper your body apply all the beautiful beautifying uh, you know creams and lotions if you are a female you know you apply so many beautiful etc etc all the uh, facilities to beautify yourself so that you are presenting in a wonderful way nothing wrong in that nothing wrong in that that is what it calls dehanu varta pampering the body so the more you pamper the body your ego is rising that i am this body that's the point so from vedantic point of view acharya is talking here don't pamper your body too much your ego will rise your ahankara will rise i am the body then shastranu vartanam tekva this is an important now here acharya is using shastra word lokanuvartanam dehanuvartanam shastranuvartanam not vitaishanam vitaishanam here according to acharya in these shlokas will come either in the lokanuvartana or dehanuvartana but he is specifically using one term for the sadhakas agnyanis like us specifically ಗಿವ್ ಅಪ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಾನು ವರ್ತನ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರವನ್ನು ಅನುಸರಿಸೋದನ್ನು ಬಿಡು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಆಚಾರ್ಯರು ಮೊದಲ ಬಾರಿ ಹಾಗಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ ವೈ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಕಾಲ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಗಿವ್ ಅಪ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಅನುವರ್ತನ ಗಿವ್ ಅಪ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸಸಿವ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರಲ್ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೇದಾಂತಿಕ್ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಇಟ್ ಗಿವ್ ಅಪ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸಸಿವ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ don't go behind the reading too much of reading no give up injunction by acharya why this is this is the point with the insight you have to understand give up shastranuvartanam means as mahaswami writes in the bhashya other than the scriptures upanishads which profusely unequivocally talk about realization moksha emancipation advaita siddhi all other scriptures which deal with mundane karma kandas mundane activities karmas as shown in vedas all those things including upasanas including homa the nature the method of conducting a homa 
or yaga or yajna or various types of upasanas. Various types of stotras. You recite this followed by that. So if there are hundred gods, hundred stotras every day recite. You read the glory, glory of uh, Lord Hanuman. And uh, again you read the stotra on Ganapati. You read stotra on Bhagavati. You read stotra on Rama. You read stotras on Navagraha. Navagraha is nine plus. So one by one, one by one, you go on reading, go on reading and recite. This is Shastra work. Without knowing, without having complete insight, reading and reading, excessive reading of scriptures which don't help you, put you on the line of path of Jnana Marga or realization or path of total surrender or devotion, all these things will distract you from the main, your object. Your basic object is to reach God. So they will distract your basic uh, the purpose of life, uh, life is to realize who you are. These Shastras will detect. They will detract you from the main line. They will take you to the side line. So you get more and more confused. That's what I said. Moksha Prayoshika Granthagolo, Moksha Hetu Agirtakanta Granthagolo, Advaita Granthagolo, Upanishad on the Pitu, Bere, 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 Shastra and the Helio. A Bari Adhena, 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 Marta Idre, Utioga Ila, Manasu Adulaga Mulgurte, Manasu, Mukhiva the Uddesh in the Jari Hogutta, Yavutesh Atman of Hava on the Bekunta Ichidre. Atma Sakshatkara on the Bekon to Iche Doni de la Bekagil. Adu Shastrana Vata. Adana Bidu on Kelta de Raja. Adrinda Swa Adhyasa Abanayam Kuru. So give up these three. Following the world, Lokana Vartana, following your pampering your body, your physical body, Dehana Vartana, and reading and reading and reading endlessly, excessively. Shastra no, give up that. So, Adhyasa Apanayam Kuru. So, this superimposing feeling that you are the body because of that, because of Ahankara, because of ego, you are doing all these things. Allah. Your Ahankara is pampered, ego is bloated because of that you are doing. So, give up all. Give up this false identity. So, Adhyasa Apanayam Kuru. Give up. Remove. Apanayam Kuru means you just you change your vision, turn your vision more inward. That is the meaning. He continues again. The next look. Loka vasanaya janto shastra vasanaya picha deha vasanaya jnanam yatha vannai vajayate. Loka vasanaya janto shastra vasanaya picha. Dehavasanaya jnanam yathavan naiva jayate. Yathavat naiva na iva jayate. Yathavan naiva jayate. Yathavat na iva jayate. Which yathavat na jayate? Jnanam yathavat na eva jayate. The jnana will not dawn at all. The realization will never occur. Jnana unte unto agok sathya vila. Yav jnana. Paramarthika vada brahmatma ekatva jnana. Nijavada nanu brahma swarupani agitte ne. Nanu aparabrahma ve agitte ne. Antakranta anubhuti. Swayam anubhuti. Adu nijavada jnana. Ajnana umtiago di lankil at the Raja. Yanam yetavan naiva jayat. Yake, why, why Ajari says like that? Because he says, Loka vasanaya gento, Shastra vasanaya picha, Deho vasanaya, Yanam yetha, what naiva jayate. So, because look, my dear disciple, 
because of loka vasana as i said earlier in the previous shloka because of shastra vasana because of deha vasana yathartha jnana will not dawn in your antakkara the realization will never occur in your innards you will never understand and reach godhead and become that you will never get bhagavat sakshya you will never get atma sakshya why because of the loka vasana shastra vasana deha vasana always following the world worldly customs always tampering your body keeping your body fit and trim presenting your body thinking that you are the body you present the body to the world so that as far as possible you want to look more gentleman more decent to other people they have it then shastra was leading reading and reading and reading immersed in reading you have seen be so here chandrashekar bharati mas swami gal in this and the ashya on this shloka he gives the example for shastra vasana one example taken from jivan mukti viveka grantha a treatise prakarana grantha written by sage vidyaranya muni who was the responsible for the formation of vijayanagar dynasty in south india in 13th century by middle of 13th century and the same sage vidyaranya muni a great brahmajnani was also the 12th pithadipati 12th pithadipati jagat guru of singeri sri sharada apart from his famous prakarana grantha on vedanta the highest treatise on vedanta called panchadashi shri vidyaranya mahamuni also has written another famous philosophical treatise book called jeevan mukti viveka hadumurne shatamanadalli vidyaranya munigalu jeevan mukti viveka emma tamma granthadalli vasanakshaya adhyayadalli bahala chennagi ee vasane andre enu vasanakshaya andre enu adanna vivarane kodta shastra vasane bage helidare so in his book jeevan mukti viveka he deals with the shastra vasana so beautifully even relevant today what is according to vidyaranya muni the shastra vasana mahaswan writes in his bhashya on that there are three types of shastra vasana in jeeva human learned human who are more attached to read excessive reading their life is full of reading there it's a passion so the three types one is called one is called patha vyasana patha vyasana what is that patha vyasana means go on reading go on reading go on reading go on reading one after another one after another patha vyasana for that there is a beautiful example how this is a waste of time excessive reading once you know the truth there is no question of reading anymore you have to give up that rama krishna paramahamsa maharaj always used to say that throw all your books into ganga he used to say the meaning is the more you read the more you get confused the more you read all different darshanas of indian philosophy the more you read like say for example you want to read a nyaya darshana you want to read sankhya darshana you want to read vaisheshika darshana you want to read patanjali yoga darshana shastra you want to read jaimini marshis purva mimamsa shastra you want to read badrayana krutha uttara mimamsa brahma sutra you want to read buddhism you want to read jainism 
you want to read charvakism you want to read books on shakta system of philosophy where is the end you want to read advaita you want to read vishishta advaita you want to read dvaita philosophy where is the end ultimately you end up totally confused because the more you read more you try to digest the more you try to understand the essence is lost what is the essence the purpose of life is to realize to know who i am not reading one after another one after other shastras if the whole life is lost in reading only what is the use that is exact ಆಠವ್ಯಸನ ವಿದ್ಯಾರಣ ಮುನಿ ಮಹಾಸ್ವಾಮಿಗಳು ರೈಟ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಚಂದ್ರಶೇಖರ ಭಾರತಿ ಮಹಾಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಸಿ ಇದು ಭಾರದ್ವಾಜ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಭಾರದ್ವಾಜ ಮುನಿ ಭಾರದ್ವಾಜ ಸೇಜ್ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಟು ರೀಡ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಥರೋಲಿ ದ ವೇದಾಸ್ so he decided to read so the entire one life span he spent he could not complete reading of vedas so he requested prajapita brahma to lease him one more life brahma agreed creator brahma agreed so second life he got he went on continued continued reading and reading and reading and understanding vedas second life also went away then third life was given to him by upon his request he went on reading vedas still not satisfied third life also went away and the fourth life also went away four lives that was a man waste so almost by the end of the fourth life god became so compassionate merciful then god came down and initiated him into bhakti mark ananya bhakti mark forget reading all the vedas you wasted already four lives what for four lives you have wasted so stop reading vedas now think of the bhakti ananya bhakti will take you to the ultimate goal so bharatdwaj muni understood the importance of what happens excessive reading is a waste of time energy money and your uh, life also that is patha vyasana second one acharya maha mahaswami writes for taking from jivan mukti viveka example second type of vyasana is what is called a shastra vyasana shastra vyasana what is shastra vyasana always you are very cautious of your all the scriptures holy books you have read and you want to show to the world that you have read so many books so to show to the world you carry all the books with you huge pile of books with you written in the papyrus line the leaves parchment leaves and golden type all those carrying carrying and carrying so by carrying such bag full of books you want to show to the world that you are a shastra adhyayi ದೂರ್ವಾಸ ಮುನಿ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋದ್ರು ಅವರು ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರದ ಗಂಟನ ಹೊತ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ತಮ್ಮ ಸುತ್ತಲು ತಮ್ಮ ಶಿಷ್ಯರ ಮೂಲಕ ಒಬ್ಬೊಬ್ಬರ ತಲೆ ಮೇಲೆ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಗಂಟು ಏನು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಪುಸ್ತಕಗಳು ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಗಳು ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋದ್ರು ಅಷ್ಟೆ ದೂರ್ವಾಸ ಮುನಿ ಒಮ್ಮೆ ಕೈಲಾಸಕ್ಕೆ ಪರಶಿವನ ದರ್ಶನಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋದಾಗ ಈ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರದ ಗಂಟುಗಳನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಹೊತ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋದ್ರು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೊತ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗಿ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಮಾಡಿ ಪರಶಿವನಿಗೆ ಕೈಲಾಸದಲ್ಲಿ ಸದಾಶಿವನಿಗೆ ಗುಣಗಾನ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ನಿಂತ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರು ಭಕ್ತಿಯಿಂದ ಪಕ್ಕದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾರದ ಮುನಿಗಳಿದ್ರಲ್ಲ ದೇವರ್ಷಿ ಅವರು ಇದನ್ನು ನೋಡಿ ನಕ್ ಬಿಟ್ರು ಅಂತ ಅವ್ರಿ ನಕ್ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಅಂತೆ ದೂರ್ವಾಸ ಮುನಿಗಳು ಇಷ್ಟೆಲ್ಲ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರದ ಗಂಟನ್ನು ಹೊತ್ಕೊಂಡ್ ಬಂದಿದಾರಲ್ಲ ಇದು ಯಾಕೆ ಕಾಣುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಸುಗಂಧದ ಹೊರೆಯನ್ನ ಕತ್ತೆ ಹೊತ್ಕೊಂಡ್ ಬಂದ ಹಾಗೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಅದರ ಪ್ರಾಮುಖ್ಯತೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ನಕ್ ಬಿಟ್ರು ಸೊ 
Krishna Vesana means always attached to Holy School and to show to the world that you know everything. You know everything and you quote all the Shastras in front of others. Shastra Vesana. That is the example. So, Acharya calls it here. Loka vasana ya janto shastra vasana ya picha deha vasana ya jnanam yathavat naiva jayate. So, by all these dambachara, by the show off, to pamper the world, to show off yourself, you will never get realized. Because your ahankara is more and more, instead of, instead of being annihilated, it is growing up. Is bloating up. Ahankara nasha go with the Rudhya Kaide, Nima Vasanigalin. So next he goes to the next loka to make it very clear. Samsara kara grahamokshamicho, ayo mayam padani badda shuntalam, vadantita jaha patuvasanatrayam, yasma timukta samupaiti muktim. Samsara kara grahamokta micho, ayo mayam pada nibadha shankalam, vadantita jnaha potuvasana trayam, yasma vimukta samupaiti muktim. Well, he would udhani kurtai the raja. Yavariti kabbina the serpali nimigatali katundi dre, pandikan in the lee, karagraha the lee, nimge. Tapaskunhulikago de Lula Kaidigal. Yerdu Kal and a Kathak Vitre, Kabul in the Serpali in the Tapskon Huli Kagal. Hage Patu Vasana Trayam e Muru Vasanigal Idiala Munishinige Yaudu Loka Vasane Astra Vasane Eha Vasani Muru Palava the Kabul of the Serpali in Hage Palavagi Kathak Dagagi. E. was an egalenim company in the separate room. It didn't tapas on holy cactaila. Yar mokshavan ichamarta ro, moksha prapti humble star ro, our ye, E. was an egolo, cup bin the serpent in tage. Yar within the mukti hook on the taro, was an egalinda, our matra, mukti, sigut the day. Some of it mukti, Nijua the mukti, sigut the day. Each local. So Acharya is giving an example. Just like in the prison, when the prisoner is completely tied by the iron shackles, iron fetters, and he cannot escape. Same way, the three vasanas, Pato vasana trayam, the three vasanas, Loka vasana, Deha vasana, Shastra vasana, the three, they have you know, bound you in the iron ropes, iron fretters, the iron shackles in, on your legs. Ayo mayam pada nibhadda shankhalam. They are, they, 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 they completely, they have, they, they have bound your own legs so that you can't escape from the prison, prison called samsara. Samsara karagraha moksha micho. Anyone who wants to escape from this prison called samsara, he is bound by these three vasanas in the form of iron, ropes or fretters. So you cannot escape. So anybody who is who can cut down the three vasanas, who consciously gives up deha vasana, consciously gives up loka vasana, consciously gives up Astravasana, only he is eligible for realization. Only such a person, such a jijnasu, eligible for moksha. Yo asmad vimukta samupaiti muktim. Vadantita jnana. So, knowers of the truth. Brahma jnana is, tajnana means here, knowers of the truth. Brahma wits, Brahma jnana is, Atma wits, great Mahatmans, Vadanti, that is how they speak, that is how they say. You give up these three vasanas, then only you are eligible for realization or mukti, moksha. Otherwise, no. This is a beautiful point Acharya is rendering here. 
on these vasanas. And uh, in the next shloka, he gives an example. Now he takes, see in the next shloka, Mundina shloka the leven udharani the word type. Samskuta shabda agaru on the gida. I think Canada the Lien Helter and Nanago would kill Agaru Agaru on the Shabdai. Some scruple. E Agaru on the Ruksha, other Rembegur, Ado Nirnal, Nirin Pagdal Bediotrinda, Ado Nirnal Mulubitre, Hadakala, other made a Sutlu, Duruasana Yukta Niru, Kalushit Niru, Yella Seri, Pachi, Yellow Seri, a Kodata Nirnali, Agarina Tundu. If Ruksha the Tundu, Marathund Bididre, Ado, yet theodore, Duruasni Bartai Yake, Ado, Bara Kolea, the Kashmalava, the near Nulli, Anadikal in the Bididilla, the show was in that. A Koreella Seri Buddha, the Duruasni Bartai. A near in a Prabhava, near Nulliro, Koreche Padartical Prabhavi. New other than a Tegado, but I got a Chennai other than a Tolodo, 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 Kalin Mel, Tikta, Tikta, Ganda the Kalnel in our Hage, Gandaman the Tate will Hage, E. Agaran the Tata Hodre, Tikta Hodre, a Koreella Hogbuto, Konege, Agarina Suasane, Namigi Mogi, Brutta de Aderi T. E. Wasana Traigala. Prabhava now consciously, Bahala Anumana protection in Arthamad Kundu, either now below the Kipra Madhu. Vasanagal in the Namma Jiva, E Jivatma, Koreaghogi, Muchogi, Atma Surupe Muchogi in Tatra, he would have. So in this example, next Oka, what Acharya says here, Jala de Sam Sarga Vashat Prabhuta, Durganda Dhuta Guru Divya Vasana. Sangarshane naiva vibhati samyak vidho yamane sati bhakya gandhe. Jaladi sam sarga vashat prabhuta purghanda dhuta garu vidya vasana. Sangarshane naiva vibhati samyak vidho yamane sati bhakya gandhe. Bhakya gandhe vidho yamane sati. When the outer covering of impurity, the algal material, this green scum material emanating foul smell on the dead wood of agar, agaru, samskutam, word, this plant, this small tree is called agaru in samskutam. Uh, in English, there is one word used. I have not seen this. Agalokam word is used. A plant or a small tree called Agalokam. A G O L O C U M. Agalokam. In Sanskritam, it is called Agaru because, see, when it is in the water medium, dirty water medium, it is covered by the green scum. For staying in the water for so many days and months and years, if you lift that wooden piece of agaru plant, agalokam, you know, when you smell it, it gives you the bad odor because of impurities on the surface. If you go on rubbing it on the stone, washing it and rubbing it, rubbing it and washing it completely, just like the sandal would be rubbed in the stone, what happens? The outer impurities will go away and this. Agalokam wood will show you, will, will smell the original fragments so that the original odor you can smell. The beautiful enchanting odor, people say. The original fragrance is covered by filth in the water medium on this, the body of the dead wood. You remove the outer uh, filth, original fragrance. So, you go on rubbing it, washing and rubbing it against the rock, rock is like this. That is what the example, the divine fragrance, you can feel only when it is clean from the outer filth covered on this dead wood called the, the, the 
material in the water medium called agaru plant. Agalokam, this example he is giving here. Jaladi samsarga vashat prabhuta durghanda dutha agaru divya vasana. Sangarshane naiva vivati samyak vidhu yamane sati bahya gande. Bahya gande sati vidhu yamane samyak sangarshane naiva vivati. So original smell you can smell, the odor you can smell, only when the outer impure bad odor is removed. Just like as the example Acharya is giving here. Example is giving. The vasanas are like the bad odor. They have covered your psyche, your antakkarana. Your antakkarana is completely covered by your own vasanas, your own samskaras. Until those vasanas are purified, samskaras are purified, you exhibit the same tendencies to others which you have carried from your previous births, number of births. So with that you will never reach Godhead at all because the vasanas bind you to the samsara. Your ego is bloating and bloating up instead of Going down. So that is the example Acharya is giving. So once again, I stop here at this uh, shloka number 272. So next two Sundays, in all probability, because of the shifting of our relocation from one area to another area in Bangalore. So next Sunday, that is uh, what we call 29th August. And also the coming Sunday after that, September 5th, the two Sundays, the Vakyana will not be there. You have to bear with me and excuse me for my inability in non-availability. So with the Guru Sankalpa, I am closing it here today. Sri Rama Jaya Rama Jaya Jaya Rama Sri Rama Jaya Rama Jaya Jaya Rama Sri Rama Jaya Rama Jaya Jaya Rama Sri Rama Jaya Rama Jaya Rama Hari Om Ma Bhagavate Virajashtar Hari Om Hari Om sir Hari Om Thank you Thank you We are going to miss you for the next two weeks sure. We wish you all the best Thank you Hari Om sir Hari Om. May your divine grace be <laughs>